coronary concussion requires a lot of force to generate this coronary concussion. So whenever we have a coronary concussion, that means that the, the patient is very, very bad. So also we need to check, for example, our tick dissection or our tick uh, transection. So for this, we will do a CT angiography. And also the patient could come with acute respiratory distress syndrome. Now, for the pulmonary contusion, pulmonary contusion, this is the result of damage to the capillaries that produce leakage of fluid and hemorrhage. This at the end leads to edema or accumulation of fluid and patchy hemorrhage in the lung parenchyma. This is extremely painful. The treatment is pain relief, also in pulmonary hygiene that is with physiotherapy. It's very important to uh, tell the patient how to do this in respiratory physiotherapy. And in the chest x-ray, at the beginning could, we could not see something. And if that's negative, if the chest x-ray is negative, when we suspect or we have this clinical scenario that occurs in chest trauma, and we suspect that the patient has pulmonary contusion, if the chest x-ray is negative, then we do a CT scan that is more sensitive, or we repeat in a white the chest x-ray. Now, the pulmonary contusion usually occurs before 24 hours of the event, but can, la can be delayed up to 45 hours. And in the chest x-ray, what we will see is patchy infiltrate, uh, that is not restrictive, uh, it's not restrictive to the pulmonary markings or anatomical markings, and sometimes it's called white out. Now, the pulmonary condition can be seen in association to the chest that we will talk in the next video.